Mr. How much? How many times will you review a Ford Ranger? Six times? Seven times? Nine times? Ah! Don't worry, this, this is not a Ford Ranger Wild Trek X review. It just happens to be in the video. I happened also to take it on a road trip and I'll also happen to tell you about its features, its pricing and those other things. So uh, let's just get started. Straight to the point, we'll kick off this review with traffic. I don't know what's going on, but I feel like traffic is getting worse. So, in this video, we are in search of something very important. You'll see it as the video progresses. So, in order to find that thing, we decided to take the Wildtrek X on a road trip. But relax, this isn't a Wildtrek X review, but in case you didn't know, maybe this is your first time seeing this car and you're curious. It comes with a 2-liter bi-turbo diesel engine. But let me stop right there. Looking at the Wildtrek X, I still feel like Ford should have given it the 3 liter V6, but that's a story for another day. The 2 liter bi turbo diesel engine is still able to stand on business. It produces 154 kilowatts and 500 newton meters of torque, and the claimed fuel consumption is 7.5 liters to the 100. Ha ha ha, good luck getting that. During the 1,600 kilometers I drove this car, I averaged around 11 kilometers to the 100. By the way, allow me to give a quick shout out to my sponsor, Cars.coza. Actually, speaking of Cars.coza, at the Cars Awards, the Ford Everest Wild Track and the Ford Ranger Raptor both won an award. Well done, Ford. Well done. If you haven't seen my Ford Ranger Raptor review, I'll leave a link in the description. Coming back to our road trip, after some time, me and PA decided to take a quick break. While we're here, I'd just like to point out that the Wild Track X comes with 17-inch all-terrain tires. In fact, the real reason I wanted us to stop here was so I could use those tires to climb this pavement. So now you know, if you want to climb pavements at the mall, the Wild Track X has got you. Quick side story, an interesting thing about taking videos of cars, after taking the video, then you have to run and catch up with the car again. Channel members will know what I'm talking about. They've seen the behind the scenes videos. New membership video is coming up soon, guys. Stay tuned. Now, after spending all the time taking the video, next thing we knew, the moon was there, the sun had set, it was getting late, and we're still very far from where we're supposed to be going. So, we decided to take a quick detour in a different town. Now, I haven't told you what the purpose of this road trip is. Are you ready? Number one, we are looking for the best hotel in a town called Lewis Trichard. Number two, we're trying to find the best spinach under 12 rand. But as you can see, it was getting late. The windscreen is full of bugs. Yo, bugs love windscreens. So we decided to take a quick break in another town, spent the night there, and the next day we continued our road trip. Before we left that hotel, I took a moment to look at the Wild Trek X and I thought to myself, this is genuinely the best looking bucky on the market today. After the Ford Ranger Raptor, of course. If you think there's a bucket that looks better than this one, please let me know in the comments and I'll like your comment and then I'll disagree with you because the X looks so good, it makes the normal Wild Trek look like a pre facelift model. In fact, I think the Wild Trek X is low key an early facelift model. Ford just won't say. Anyway, coming back to our road trip, we made a quick stop so I could move the spoiler to the back. Yeah, I know it's called the flexible rack system, but to Wild Trek X owners, it's a spoiler. Watch them. Check every Wildtrek X you see. That thing is never where it's supposed to be. It's always somewhere in the middle. They want you to know that they bought a Wildtrek X. And man, I really love this car. It's so cool. I know, I know this is silly, but imagine if it had a sunroof. Imagine, I'm just saying. So we continued on and drove for a couple more hours in search of the spinach and the best hotel in Louis Trihart. Well, apparently that's how you're supposed to say it. You know, I'm so glad this is not a Ford Ranger review. Otherwise, I'd have to tell you things like it has a brake towing capacity of 3,500 kilograms, it has adaptive cruise control, you know, all that kind of stuff reviewers would normally say. I'm not even going to mention it. Anyway, after a couple of hours, we finally arrived. Before you ask me, the name of the place is called the Anza Lifestyle Lodge. By the way, I paid my own money to come here. This is not a paid partnership. Moving on, just as we entered, we already knew this place is proper. You can tell from the outside when you're at a proper place. Some places you arrive, you're like, mm, this is not it. Anyway, after checking in, we went to where we'd be spending the night. And yeah, ah, just look at it. I don't need to say anything. The, the garden is well looked after. Every, everything looks good. In fact, while I park this Ford Ranger Wild Trek X, I'd like to say, if you still haven't liked this video, please like. If you still haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Support local YouTube, guys. It's the right thing to do. 
We are still on the road to 80,000 subs, so please share this video with your friends on WhatsApp. Let them know there's a Mr. How Much on YouTube. Since this isn't technically a Wildtrek X review, let me give you a quick tour of the place. We've got a proper smart TV. Comes in handy if you wanna just watch Netflix or go to YouTube and watch Mr. How Much. Nice couch, proper stuff. It's fully furnished. You even have your own kitchen. There's a kettle to boil water, there's plates, there's spoons, you've got a microwave, you've got a stove, you've got a pot, we'll use it a bit later. But yeah, everything you're going to need is here. As you go on upstairs, you'll find the bedroom. I don't know, is that a bedroom if it's up there? You'll let me know in the comments. But yeah, you've got a nice big bed. And just above your bed, there is aircon. Very important. It is hot in this town. It is very hot. You also have a bit of a view. It's got trees and bushes. So yeah, it counts as a view. Behind that door is the bathroom. All in all, proper place. I was very impressed. I give it a solid 5 out of 5. After dropping off our bags, we remember two things. Number one, we're still searching for the best spinach we could find under 12 rand. Number two, we remembered we were hungry, so we decided to go out and look for food. One thing about Bucky's though, they are very nice. Driving on potholes, driving on gravel, going off-roading, great for road trips, but yay. When it comes to parking and tight spots, ah, hey, yeah, the, that's, that's the one downside of Bucky's, but I don't really mind it. So, on the way to look for the spinach and the food, I decided to take a couple of videos while we are driving on this gravel road. Ah yes, the sound of gravel. Anyway, good thing this isn't a Wildtrek X review, otherwise I'd have to tell you that it's a 4x4. The X actually has off-road suspension which is different from the suspension you get in the normal Wildtrek. You'll notice the difference out on the road but it's still fairly comfortable. After taking those videos, we went and got some supplies, got some maize meal, vores and maheo. Proper stuff, very important. Yo, you need to fuel up sometimes guys, yo, you need, you just need a quick boost Michael. <laughs> but the main event we found it guys the best spinach under 12 rand and this one was 10.99 so yeah we got the spinach and we decided to head back when we got back it was a bit dark we cooked that spinach we cooked that pop and we had dinner the next morning i decided to go out and listen to nature After listening to nature, we decided to take a couple of interior videos and then I remembered, this isn't a Wildtrek X review. You already know it as wireless Apple CarPlay and wireless Android Auto. You already know about the Bang & Olufsen sound system. You've already seen the steering wheel. I'm sure you could draw this interior by now just based off of my reviews. So I don't need to spend any more time on this. Back seats, same story. You already know the knee room, leg room. You know there's rear air vents. You know there's a plug at the back, two USB ports. You know there's a center armrest. So I think we're good here. So let's move on to something I haven't shown you. The Wildtrek X comes with matrix LED headlamps. Look at them. They are proper. When you're driving at night, this is what they look like. You know what? I really wish they just added these to the normal Wildtrek as well. Again, I say this. This is low-key a facelift. Ah, th th this is a facelift. This is a facelift. Oh, another thing the Wildtrek X has is a still sidestep. Knock, knock. Support local YouTube. It's the right thing to do. Otherwise, I'll keep knocking. If you subscribe. Okay, I'll stop. Right here, it says, support local YouTube. It's the right thing to do. Wildtrek X. Anyway, the answer is so proper. They'll even bring the breakfast to your place if you're busy filming. Proper stuff. The breakfast is included in the price and the price per night is around 1,800 Rand. You can check their website for more information. Anyway, speaking of prices, some people don't know how much the Wildtrek X costs. And even though this is not a Wildtrek X review, I have to tell them. The base price of this Bucky is 1,013,000. On finance, you'll pay 19,804 Rand. Over six years at 12% interest. A full tank of diesel will cost you 2,014 Rand. And if you got an insurance premium of 4,000 Rand, it would bring your total cost of ownership to 25,818 Rand. As you know, the service plan is sold separately, but you get a four year, 120,000 kilometer warranty. 
by the way ford is launching the ford tremor and the ford ranger platinum soon so yeah <laughs> those will be coming up as well anyway thank you so much for watching this road trip thank you so much for watching this not a ford ranger wild trek x review i just hope you enjoyed it because we drove 1600 kilometers to find the best spinach under 12 rand and this beautiful place and if you're interested in browsing 2024 ford ranger wild tracks cars.coza has over 250 of them available on the cars.coza app i'll leave a link in the description as for the name of this bucky i've decided to name it wolverine because the other one was batman anyway thank you so much for watching until the next one take care all right guys welcome to the part of the bucky that makes it a bucky this is a roller shutter but that's not what i want to show you buckies usually have sport bars but this one has a spoiler now throughout this review i'm sure you've probably seen this thing was right here that is to improve aerodynamics and make the world track x faster is it scientifically proven no it's not but it looks cool and yeah that's about it for this part of the bucky